Hello, Dr. Pat here to go ahead and share with you the quick version of posture prepping your horse. This is with the assumption that you've been doing the posture prepping for a while, that you do the full from uh, the hind end to the front end, top line zone, core zone, and timing zone. I have some people who will take half an hour a day to do that, some people an hour, other people 15 minutes, but I want to show you the quickie version so you're still following the same system and you can get a lot of feedback from that. People have multiple horses and they're like, I don't have time to do that to all the horses. You can rotate your stable through the week. Once a week, every horse gets a full-fledged, um, full posture prepping and the other horses are just gonna get the quickie, but you wanna go ahead and look because posture is the language of the horse. Make sure when you go to get your horse from the stall or the field that overall they're saying they're comfortable in their skin, they're comfortable in their body. Hopefully they're standing four square with their cannons on the vertical. He's standing a smidge underneath here, but it's not bad. That's something we work with. Um, with a lot of horses all the time, just because sometimes there's a little bit of different stress with their confirmation, could be with the work that they do, it could be that they're turned out on hills. So we wanna be aware of what our horses need. But we want to, now, we've said, okay, things are looking good, he's clean, I have took the blanket off because it's that time of year, and I'm just gonna do a quickie. So, you're still gonna start at the point of the buttock, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my cross fiber. And you can spend a little bit more time or a little less time, but I'm gonna kind of map this out and say, does he tell me that there's anything that's bothering him relative to what he's used to? I'm gonna go across the spine. And then as a rider, it helps me to be more strategic in what I think I'm gonna do for the day. Ah. Here, show wood. And that's a nice quick scan. All being well, you brush that off, but you always go down here and go, is the skin moving freely across his hocks, his gasket, and his lower legs? If not, you make sure you take care of that. Because if that's not warmed up, that's not loose, it's going to be much longer for you to go ahead and get him. Um, going. So you go from the back to the front through the top line very quickly but with good observation. You check here if you need to. You do the cross fiber for the hind legs. You brush it off. You go around to the other side. You do the same thing. Good boy. Hang out. Do the same thing. And it does not take long to get an evaluation and you think, or were they in for a day or two? Were they turned out? Was he turned out all night long? So again, take that information. It helps you become more of a strategic rider to figure out how you're going to go forward when you ride that day. Of course, you've got to take off any other and sundry dust and dirt. But uh, So that's your quickie for your posture prepping.